Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing as Qatar. Now, we're doing an interesting, we're doing a different kind of challenge, right? It's, um, I want to do an economic challenge of sorts. So, the idea behind this was that I would try to get Qatar to the number one spot in the world purely through economic score. And if you don't know what that is, in this game, there's three different types of score, right, for your rank. There's economic score. Oh yeah, and also I started out at like 158, so this is a long way to go. And what I did was I started making better relations with all my neighbors so that I was safer. Anyways, the three different types of score in this game, right? Uh, there's population score, which is the amount of people in your country. There's uh, prestige, which is, I think, like, it has to do with the wars, right? The wars you fight. And then there's economic score which is how many of those factories you have in your country. So what I try to do is, as you can see, I'm like con constantly investing over and over again in order to try get that number up. And you know, as I get it up, I'm, uh, you guys will obviously notice that there's a mark, there's an obvious rise in the, um, what do you call it? Money per turn that I'm getting. And see, what I decide to do later is I even decide to start focusing some of that money on to, um, <clears throat> onto research points, right? And those actually help because I, I start improving like some stuff slightly here and there, like in the economic tree part, that that stuff, right? And so I continue doing that and I just take a look at you know, as I as I am continuing, I take a look around me and like Canada and Brazil just like freaking became massive for some reason. And what I decided to do was I decided to clean up some stuff, right? Canada was just, I mean, listen, the border gorge didn't, wasn't it for me. Okay, I didn't like it. So I just got rid of that. Okay, J just purely because I didn't like the border gorge, okay? And then I realized Canada's going through some weird ass invasions. But I also realized that the island nations do the same thing, right, in the game. They also, they, they also invest in their economy heavily. So I need to compete, but luckily those island nations are pretty weak. So, I was looking around me just noticing that Russia was forming like a massive ass empire. And thing was, what I realized is that throughout this game, I will need to destabilize, like not, not just like, yeah, destabilize all of the major empires, right? Uh, destabilize all the major empires because if these nations became way too big, it would make my job of getting to the number one top spot harder. And so what I did was I got Brazil and Canada into conflicts. I got Africa into different wars. I got Asia into, no, not Asia really, but mainly Europe, Africa, and um, North America, right? Because Asia was already in some massive wars. And then I got like people to attack Turkey. I even, and then I usually, and then I just continued uh, in my investments as I basically watched the world burn right around me. Iraq started conquering into Turkey, forming this massive ass empire. And uh, I kind of almost made a coalition. And I decided to try something cool. I decided to try buy a province from Armenia and it actually worked, which I found pretty funny. Um, because what happened was since they didn't have cores on that province, I could buy it from them. Now, I tried doing the same from uh, for, um, what do you call in Syria, but that didn't work. And then Djibouti came and attacked me. Luckily, I got Saudi Arabia to bail me out basically because I had the money, which is what I was planning to do anyways. Um, and then I tried to buy Alexandria off of the off of Pakistan because they recently took it over, but that didn't work either. And then, and then I was just like, you know, I thought about it, right? And the whole point of this challenge is to stick to economics. Now, I don't know if I'm... Thing is, yeah, I wanted to... Personally, I just wanted to do, like, one province. Like, I don't want to see just how far I could go with one province. So, later on, I do get rid of that second province. Maybe I could try another game where I just buy provinces and try to get bigger. Like that. But, who knows, man. Anyways, I realize Russia has just become way too massive of a threat all this time. And so I get literally every nation, as much nations around them as possible to start attacking them. And that seems to do the trick, really. Uh, because 
I mean, these random nations even like popped up in Europe, like Sorbs. Like, what even is that, bro? Like, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's there, right? And then I, after the whole advancement thing, after the whole research points, I go back right back to economic development. And uh, right now, right about now, I'm at like 435,000. And I'm looking around me, I'm just seeing like Kazakhstan taking over everything. And then I decide to get India and Japan to go to war as well. Because uh, that would, you know, again, destabilize them, right? Because remember, the name of the game for me is to like continuously grow my strength in a linear path, right? Linear way, because it's not really going up drastically at all. But, and also simultaneously take out the people around, like, you know, destabilize the world. And then I, I look over at Canada and Brazil and they're still going at it with like over a million men dead. And I'm just like, yes. But then I look at Madagascar and I go, holy shit. Like, they have like a fucking insane ass amount of factories, right? They have like 2.6 million factories. While I'm out here trying to like get 400,000, like... Like, and then I, I, I freak out so much, I get every single nation I can think of to attack them. Because I'm like, holy shit, they need to be killed. But at the same... Oh, yeah, and then I decided to take out Tanzania, too, because they were becoming too powerful. But anyways, uh, yeah, here's where I finally decide to get rid of that province, because I really didn't want to... I don't want to bother. Uh, I just wanted to keep to one province and one province only. Meanwhile, the East Asian War continued to rage on. Um, I, I got a some, few smaller nations to attack India because I wanted to like, shift the balance of power. And then meanwhile, oh, over here, it was just a constant slog. So I decided to try to get rid of, like, pa like well, Jamaica or Pan I'm not even sure what country that was. But yeah, I decided to get rid of it, but that accidentally led to a peace deal between those two which kind of annoyed me because i was like no nah, i was the whole point was to keep an eternal like 1984 style eternal war going on between the major powers said so they continuously waste their manpower like <laughs> uh so yeah that kind of backfired on me so but but now i know now i know it's better okay now i know what to do anyways i realized that india was getting the upper hand on japan and so I decided to like get a couple of people to go to war. Meanwhile, I got Brazil and America to go right back at it with the whole war thing. And um, yeah, now I just basically, I'm just going around causing chaos everywhere. Turkey is still somehow alive. Japan is some like clinging to the coast. Madagascar is doing naval invasions. Like this wasn't the intention. Like Loki, this was not the intention. The intention was to like, have everyone invade Madagascar, or not have Madagascar invade everyone. That's that's the, that's not a good thing, right? So I get even more people to just again, like over and over again, declare war on Madagascar, right? And then that's like yeah. So then I go right back to just just economic, right? And um, I don't really look around, but then I look back and I just see the chaos is still continuing, and uh, of course. India and Japan, like India, Japan, sorry, India and Vietnam are at war with Japan. Like I decided to do that. And because Japan had like 900,000 factories, those two combined had a similar amount basically. Meanwhile, Madagascar is now invading Brazil, which again, like <laughs> this wasn't what the plan was. The plan was to get people to invade Madagascar hopelessly. And the hopes at least that like, even if they didn't take it over, they'd like plunder the land or something. So. I could, you know, reduce their factories, but no, no, they, they just, they just kept surviving, and so, it was so infuriating, because at some point, like, Madagascar would just, like, it's, it's an unstoppable force, because you can't naval, nobody in the world, at this point, could navally invade Madagascar, like, you had to face that fact, they were number one in the world, you couldn't navally invade them at all, so, it was just annoying. And like, okay, I decided to just like, go back to doing some research points because I kind of wanted to unlock all buildings. Um, I don't think I end up doing that, but still, whatever. Right, I just wanted to research a little bit more because I realized that research points also help with um, improving your economic output. So that's that's one thing, right? 
because uh, I think yeah, it increases the level of development in your province or no, not province, provinces, and then um, that happens. So, yeah, and so um, we basically continue on, and yeah, okay, I go, I go right back to investing again. Yeah, it's, this this playthrough was kind of an. I mean, I was trying to do something like an idea that struck me one day. That, I was quite int int intrigued by if it was possible or not, but you can see how far I went considering it was it's like 3,650 turns right now. I also reinvigorated a war between India, Russia and all. And again, I just, I, like, at some point though, the great powers just became too great. Like, they could go through multiple wars and they're still stronger than me. I basically, do, like... I'd basically torn up Russia's empire at this point. Uh, Canada and Brazil were still at it. Uh, I decided to get, like, Bolivia to go to war in Brazil, but and, like, some of the smaller nations, just to change stuff up. Meanwhile, uh, that works for a while, but Brazil just takes them out. And then, once again, this war between Canada and Brazil just, like, leads to millions of people dying. And, well, it's, it's, it's good for me, because I'm supposed to be trying to get to number one. And at this point, I'm at like, what is it? Number, I think number three spot. And you know, I'm no, not number three. No, no, I didn't reach number three. I think number four. But yeah, this, uh, around this time is where I came the closest to winning, right? Okay, not number four, number five. Anyways, I realized Indonesia was catching up too. So I got Australia to go to war with them. And also New Guinea. And like, again, it's a, this was the strategy, like destabilizing all the opponents. And then, um, I actually, and I, I think is, since I did destabilize, like, people from the top five, I actually managed to rise up slightly because of it. That's why, but then, like, as soon as they stopped the war, and, um, or took more territory, I, like, dropped. And so, top five was all I'd ever be in for the most part. And, uh, that is, is annoying at the same time, you know, it's, so, it's, like, it's realistic, you could say. Anyways, in the end of it all, I finally got to about 700,000 factories and um, finally in, it took me about like 4,000 turns and we finally made it to about 5th in the world, which is a great rise from, you know, 158 you could say. Okay, hey guys, so um, this is after oh, I stopped recording and uh, I should say, this was um, quite the... Ch um, yeah, this challenge was, uh, sure was something. I mean, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to see, like, the main purpose of this challenge, I'm sure you all, you know, was to try and get to first place. But, uh, the reason I've decided to stop at 4,000 turns, and it, that was the original challenge, right? But, um, the, re the original challenge was to get to, like, first place. Thing is, Madagascar has made that impossible. Okay, because them being an island, they've done the exact same thing as me, but except like everywhere. So wait, uh, let's just see. Ah, yeah, here. The, wait, hold on a second. Um, let me get the map. Economy. Yeah, yeah, they, they did the exact same thing as me, but for like multiple cities instead. And so because of that, and, and this, oh yeah. And because of that... Uh, I really can't compete. So, like, even though I'm I'm here, like, 700,000, it's pretty good, but then I literally can't compete with it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop here, because I've been, I've been recording for about an hour now. Like, this is, so... Oh, and, uh, yeah, this doesn't, it does not seem to be going, like, anywhere. I'm, I'm not gonna get anywhere close to where I'm trying to be, because... Yeah, no, 5,000 is going to take, like... I mean, look, look, look. To get from... Okay, listen. I mean, I, you got to admit, though, okay? 158 was where I started at, and I moved to 5 just by purely economic, like, economic score. That, that sure is something, okay? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. 